Hey guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today we're doing a bit of a review and we're discussing the Hunt a Killer series. Today we're looking into the Moon Summit Mystery. Uh, this is going to have six different episodes and Hunt a Killer primarily makes uh, mystery sets that you get in monthly. You can buy uh, one episode and then the next episode will come in next month and so on and so forth. And so you're going to be getting unique pieces of a whole title uh, as you go from month to month. And there's different sets and series that you can uh, look through on their website. So, so each series is related to a crime and you're getting to investigate different elements of the crime with each little episode or slot. Yeah, and basically the idea is you get your episode in and you open up everything and it explains in detail what's going on and what you need to do and what you're looking for for that specific episode, that specific time in which you're opening this thing up. It's not going to be like you're going to solve everything all at once. It's kind yeah. of episodic. And you're going to come back and utilize this information in the next previous, in the next months to come. Mm -hmm. and certain little pieces of here and there, they can benefit you in certain ways, uh, which is really cool. But we're just going to kind of go over like what the Hunt the Series... How, the Hunt Killer series is, and then of course we'll talk about uh, the Moon Summit mystery. We don't want to give any type of spoilers in this because we want you to experience it, and when you get your first pack, we don't want you to have already understood what it is that uh, that you're doing and like yeah, all that. You so know, we'll, I, we'll just show off a little bit from the first episode that you get. Yeah, I suppose that'll be the best way to do it. So, well, are you ready to go ahead and get into the Hunt Killer? Yes. Okay. So in the first episode, you basically are going to get one of these little tray things. So you actually can take this, and this is the full set, so you can actually buy the full set after they're released, as opposed to getting them month by month. And they have these little pull tabs, and in these pull tabs, you're going to open it up, you're gonna, there's going to be like a, a cover over it, and Your you remove file. it, and you're going to get the uh, investigation file here. Now, they could be different, it could relate differently in each of the different episodes, depending on, like, the, this is the Moon Summit one, but if you get a different one, it might be different a in some way. A little bit different, yeah. But basically, all of this stuff comes inside this envelope, and I kind of uh, laid it all out here. Uh, and in this one here, we have a hiker who has been, uh, who has died in some way, yeah, right? Yes. And we're trying to figure out what the weapon or what the item was that, that killed this person. Now, obviously this is a murder game, so uh, this person has been murdered. But the question is, uh, how and in, in what way and by who and what was like the whole story behind it? Uh, right now you think it's, it starts off as like it's a bear attack, this whole camping group went out. But was it a bear attack? And they're attack? looking for this ghost lead. Links, right, and they're out in the out in the forest, or out in like Alaskan wilderness, and they have all these perimeters set up. There's these park rangers, and so like this hunter gets lost. And you learn all this information not through just like one person telling the story, but different people telling different parts of the story and with all of the different pieces that you get in yeah. your hand. Like you're going to get like interesting uh, things. You'll get like a full autopsy report and it goes into detail mm -hmm. about all the different wounds and uh, like what type of lacerations, how large were they, what was the general prognosis, prog prognosis? prognosis. Yeah, prognosis <laughs> of, of like what might have happened. It could be scavenging, it could be a slash, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it could give you a general overview of like what the crime scene looked like, what was there, where things were located, and there's like little detailed maps. Uh, there's going to be reports from all the different park rangers the and the people's yeah. statements as, as that follow the um, the death of this person here and like where everybody was or what everybody was doing. And it was kind of as, as all of their statements are all kind of like non professional, where all the rest of it you're getting is very like professional looking. Come in this little envelope here. There's going to be like unique catalogs that will go with basically what, what the, uh, the Department of National science was trying to do like they're trying to go out and find you a lot of the, the ghost links. background information that you would have to research it, it details <laughs> the characters yeah. and like what uh each of them are like mm -hmm. and what like what their objective is and you got the, the the woodsman guy who's out there trying to like uh forge the trail and make sure yeah. everybody's safe and yeah. then you've got the dedicated uh uh, expedition le leader slash zoologist. zoologist who's going out and like trying to solve this mystery and everybody else is just kind of out, out there pining uh, the documentarian as well and so there's a big cast of characters in this in this game here uh, speaking of that there's also going to be little things you're going to get in the game there's going to be like this uh, notebook here that you can utilize in real life or for part of the game it's going to come with some unique little tidbits of information that might be useful throughout the uh, uh, throughout the case yeah. evidence 
pieces. I stole pieces of evidence. They can help you along the way. Uh, you're going to be getting uh, photos. You're going to be getting different, like, uh, all There's kinds of stuff. a letter from the person getting... who hired you as a private And so, yeah, we are PIs, and we somebody <laughs> thought there was foul play, and so we're actually working for the firm that's trying to determine, like, what... Mm -hmm. um, what might have happened in, in this specific case. And in this specific uh, episode, we're just trying to find out what the weapon was that murdered or what item or if it was to, a bear. Or, to prove that maybe it wasn't a bear. Yeah, right? exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Or see if it was. <laughs> and, and, and another thing with this game too that's really, really cool is you're not just utilizing what you have here. In fact, there's information in these guides that gives us access to things online. So mm -hmm. you need to have a computer in order to play this game and you need to have the internet. Uh, there is information that you will be utilizing on the websites. There's going to be uh, images, there's going to be videos, there's going to be like all kinds of stuff that's kind of going to detail like what the case is about. Uh, any, like, there might be like a group, like a university folders that we can utilize. Like a, a login to the database. codes yeah. <laughs> and all that. And so that all ties in. You have to use information that you have here physically as well as using the computer. Mm -hmm. uh, and it has all this kind of stuff that kind of details what you need in order to solve the case and move on to the next episode and get more of the story. And this is a story-based mm -hmm. game. It's a mystery-based game. And it has a ton of different pieces of evidence that you may or may not use now yeah. or ever. <laughs> Or you might not use until much later. And that's all kind of how it all ties in with these Hunt a Killer series. But that's the basic idea of how this game plays. You'll go from one episode to the next to the next, inputting in information via an email address on a website that they give you, and you'll determine if you got the answer right. They'll tell you, okay, you got the answer right, you can move on to the next one, or wait for our next piece of information we give you. And you'll go throughout the series and try and figure out uh, who the killer is by hunting down the killer, the in, killer. in this mystery type <laughs> game. Yeah, yeah. So I guess we'll just discuss uh, what we thought of the game and all the cool, unique little hijinks that we got through and uh, decide whether you guys want to go ahead and pick up a series or set of Hunt a Killer for yourself. What I liked about Hunt a Killer is as soon as you open the envelope, it really feels like you're actually a private investigator because... You don't know, it, there's no instructions as far as like where exactly to start and what to utilize, but everything feels very real. Like it could be a real place and a real crime that happened. Yeah, and you, you actually feel have these like pieces you're, of information. You in front feel of like you. you're in like this agency and you're being mm -hmm. given or mailed information and you have to piece yeah. together this crime with just what you have. Mm -hmm on your hands at the time. You were not there. You do not have any information other than what is being given to you. Like unique little files might have popped up or like, oh, we found some video evidence and they'll send it to you on this internet database or- um, oh, Reading, like reading the statements from the people. Like, oh, okay, well, that's what they said what happened, but what could be their motivation or could they be lying? That sort of thing is yeah. really interesting. So, uh, who had motive, who had yeah. opportunity and, mm -hmm. and like- Who had alibi. An alibi, yeah. yeah. So you have to look into each and every what was the piece. Time? Timeline of what happened. In one case, you might be trying to just decipher who one of the, like, decipher which one of the people, like, was not one of the uh, murderers, like just yeah. piecing out Suspects. somebody, yeah, yeah, removing one of them. Another one, it might be, oh, in which way did the body get dragged mm -hmm. or did the killer make his escape? Um, mm -hmm. Or of course, what is the murder weapon? Um, what was mm -hmm. the thing that managed to, to, to make this person? Yeah, each part, each one will give you you're leading towards an element of the crime that's gonna kind of all fit together at the end. Yeah, and once it's all sold, and once it's all satisfied, all the conditions are met, you'll have this opportunity to try and figure out who the murderer was, and you'll have this whole story that's aligned with you. Uh, what I also really like about this game too is once you're done with it, there's no ripping or tearing or anything like that. Everything is information, and so it all can go back into these folders, into this bin here, and somebody else can go ahead and enjoy it for themselves after you're done with it. Even the website links and portals and whatnot, they have specific little passwords and different sites, and yeah. you can actually have them utilize that as well. And what's cool about having this whole set here is you don't have to wait, you can just simply jump into the next one and the next one and play through the whole series. I think it would be hard to wait a month for the next because you kind of get like so involved in the world and, and knowing everything about what happened there 
that you want it was to move easy on to the for next us to go to right the next afterwards. one and like keep that fresh in your mind. <laughs> and I think because the series has been out for a while now and there's a lot of different cases you can choose from, you can actually go ahead and grab. And you can see there's quite you a few like cases the in whole here. whole box instead, yeah. Yeah, which mm -hmm. is, is nice. It's a nice way of doing it. And also maybe you could do the month to month thing. So you'll have one overarching oh, campaign, you could, but yeah. you're uh -huh. also just playing throughout the basic series. Uh, this is, I'd say, you know, people think probably this is like kind of like an escape room game, but I would say it's not really. Mm -hmm. uh, this is kind of its own thing its own unique thing in which you're mainly just trying to piece together information that feels like a puzzle, but more you feel like you're it's an chronicles of it's like chronicles yeah. of crime, yeah. Yeah. but you're not utilizing your your phone and whatnot. You're you I mean you you use it for like yeah. going through like information and videos and whatnot, but it's more about like piecing portions of information to mm -hmm. together and not as opposed to puzzling information together right and this is cool too because you can play with an entire group of people in, in the room mm -hmm. at one time mm -hmm. uh, you can play with just yourself or you can play with an entirely different group of people the next episode it doesn't matter uh, mm -hmm. if you as long as one of you has played through the series you can have new people join in you can give them the story and explain what happened we did that a few times mm -hmm. like here's the overarching story well here are the, here's the cast yeah. of characters and what they're like here's the stuff from the first episode we might need to reference later that's and you have, and you keep everything all separated and organized mm -hmm. so that you have all the evidence and information that you might need. And then, cool, what's also cool about, I guess, is at the end of the game, you're going to have all these little pieces that you can utilize if you want. I've got this little uh, <laughs> multi-tool that I can use uh, yeah. at the end of the game or a complete notebook that you can use to uh, write on or whatever. It so does look like actual, like, little evidence bag with handwriting on it and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this <laughs> game is uh, excellent. The quality is, mm -hmm. is there. Now, I guess... Uh, this is gonna be more on the expensive side. This is, I, I'm pretty sure these these games are a little expensive, but what you're getting is not just what you see here. Or what's inside this box? The, what has been developed for you online as well is highly like innovative and unique. There's videos that have been added with actors, and there's mm -hmm. audio. There's infrared photos and like <laughs> black and white photos, and there's all this stuff that kind of attaches to this game. So you're yeah. getting the full. It's not it's like, just the physical part. The yeah. digital as well. You're throwing you're throwing yourself into a, a very lengthy movie where you are part of it. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes this game really, really fundamentally excellent. It's what I really enjoy about this series. And uh, after going through this one, I would gladly go through another one because it's just a lot of fun. Yep. I, I, my brain's not super great with these things, so it takes me longer than the average bear to figure it out. But with other people, I give them the story, the stuff I'm good at, yep. and then they can solve the other portions. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like looking, going, digging through all of the things, finding all the little details details even though it really at least at the beginning it wasn't that complicated it might not even relevant. It might not really, relevant. yeah it wasn't really relevant but i like that kind of just learning about the whole world and all of the this cast of characters and what could have happened right well there's them. even like a lot of medical stuff and you have to look yes. up key terms on the site in order that's to figure out what all of this means there's like it explains like the cardiovascular system and gastrointestinal system yeah. and like the esophagus is lined with glistening white mucosa but the stomach it's all is coarsely rugged there and, if you if you dig through it yeah, yeah, it's everything's like there. Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying you can, I'm just saying that the, you don't the, have to like know all this. No, there's keywords stuff, as well key, on the yeah. website that mm -hmm. explain all this, and so mm -hmm. you're learning as well about what autopsy reports kind of look like <laughs> and what somebody might write about something like this or a case like this. It's really, really, really well put together. Yeah. Uh, the quality of the game, everything that come, it comes, it, it's great. It's mm -hmm. really, really high quality. Uh, everything feels realistic and real, which is is cool like, as well. This could be a brochure for a college yeah, yeah. <laughs> department. You, you, in fact, I thought like maybe they just put something in here as like an ad or something. Like, I was like, wow. It's but yeah, it's really, really well done. So uh, for me, uh, Hunt a Killer, especially just, well, this is the one we have, the Moon Summit Mystery. Yeah. So this is the one we're going to go off on. Uh, this was an excellent, excellent mm -hmm. series of games. It was a lot of fun and I love playing with additional people. Uh, overall quality and the style and the, the graphic design is great. Really, really good. So it gets the uh, Unfiltered Gamer Thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Approval. If you love mystery games, this is probably one of the best you're going to play. <laughs> this is one of the best you're going to play. Um, mystery uh, crime solving mystery. Yeah, game. it yeah. functions in the way Chronicle Crime, Chronicles of Crime uh, is, is does, but does on a unique, fun, like, mm -hmm. uh, tech level where you're using your phone and moving around and stuff like that. This is kind of more like 
I feel like a detective. Yeah. I feel like I'm solving this case and I'm understanding what's going down and, <laughs> oh, that's so weird. This guy's kind of off to the side in the photograph. <laughs> Why is he not with the group? Did mm -hmm. they not like him? Why? And like, that's something that doesn't even come up till later. And you're like, oh shoot, that's mm -hmm. interesting. I figured that out. And you feel kind of cool like as a, as a detective going through this game. But yes, seal of approval for Moon Summit uh, Mystery and Hunt the Killer series in general. What do you think? Yes, agreed on all fronts. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the Moon Summit Mystery, the Hunt a Killer series. If you like this video, you can go ahead and hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe if we've earned your subscription. If you've been here for more than one video already and you made it to the end, there's no reason why you shouldn't do it by now. We do greatly appreciate it if you're doing so. Uh, you can also go and check out our live streams every Sunday and on Wednesdays. Wednesdays is whatnot at 6.30 p.m. PST where we sell games and show off games and all that kind of stuff. And on Sundays, we have a Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook stream where we play games just like this one. Um, not this one because this one's got spoilers yeah, in it, but yeah. <laughs> other games similar in the genre. <laughs> Um, and I think that's pretty much it. If you want you, there's a Discord, etc., etc. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, we look forward to seeing you, you guys next, next time. time. What? Let me eat you up? He's not like PewDiePie's dog that just like lays there. <laughs> that dog's like a roly poly. Yeah, he's just like, brr. <laughs>